So here I'm going to want to break down gestational trophoblastic disease and gestational trophoblastic neoplasia. So GTD is your molar or partial mole pregnancy, where GTN is when you have that GTD disease and it doesn't respond to initial treatment and it still has elevated beta ECGs. Or GTN is when you have pathology seeing choriocars, PSTT, or ATT. So how to manage this. So when you're reporting GTN, you're going to give the stage and then the score. So for the staging, it's broken up into four stages. The first one is, you know, stage one is in the uterus. Stage two is in the adnex and surrounding area around the uterus. Stage three is METs to the lung. And stage four is all other METs. The next thing is the risk score. And the risk score takes into account the age of the patient, the type of antecedent pregnancy, the duration from the antecedent pregnancy, beta HCG level, size of tumor, and it prior failed chemotherapies. If their score, when you add all those up, is six or less, then they have low risk disease and you can manage it with single agent methotrexate or tenomycin. If it is high risk, seven or greater, then you're going to give them a multi-dose regimen, a common one being Emico, a topicide, methotrexate, actinomycin, cyclophos, and vincristine. And that's how you differentiate gestational trophoblastic disease and neoplasia, and from neoplasia, how to differentiate low risk and high risk for this management. The more you know.